Hi everyone, welcome to the Mama Elephant YouTube channel. This is Rena. Today we have a fun video taking a look at the July mini release. This surprise mini release comes with four different Creative Cuts dies that are so super fun, I can't wait to share them with you. Also, these products are already available on the MamaElephant.com website. First up, we have the Slim Film City Creative Cuts, and these dies are sized to make the slim line cards, and I really love this set. I adore the skyline. I also love the big, uneven scallop background piece that you can use. I That is one of my favorites of this set. Okay, y'all, I forgot to mention that we are making six cards in this video. So I have already pre-colored the images. We're going to kind of put these cards together just so you can see what you can do with the different pieces. We're going to make two cards out of the Slim Film City Creative Cuts. I wanted to first play with this um, film strip die. So in order to create those scenes there, I use the Scene Builder stamp set, the Little Panda Agenda, and the sentiment is from Hooray Wishes. I cut out the film strip in a light gray and also a white, and so I took the white inserts and I stamped out the Scene Builder images and I colored it with Copic markers. When my three little scenes were ready, I decided to tape them inside the film strip just so it would be easy to adhere this whole thing in one piece um, on top of one of the panels. Before I adhere my fun little pandas on my film strip, I need to stamp out my sentiment and I'm using Can't Wait to See You from the Hooray Wishes stamp set. And I'm just stamping that in the middle panel. Now that my main focal point is done, I'm going to put together the card. I've cut out that scallop backer piece in a blue cardstock. And then I'm also using that postage rectangular piece, the postage edge piece, and then I'm just layering that on top of the scallop border piece, and I really love how giant the scallops are. I'm going to use foam adhesive to adhere my film strip, and I'm gonna put that on top of the postage edge <laughs> rectangle piece. And the last step would be adhering the little panda agenda images into the different little tiny scenes. The scenes, they look hard, but it's super easy because it's a small area and it's only part of the stamp that you're coloring, so it goes super fast. Here's a look at the completed card. I loved working with this film strip die. The next die that I wanted to focus on was that awesome skyline. So we're still using the Slim Film City Creative Cuts here, and I'm using the oldie but goodie Tiny Heroes. I've stamped out the sentiment on top on that postage edge rectangle piece. I'm also going to cut out my skyline there. I first cut out a gray postage edge piece, and then you cut out the postage edge piece with the skyline piece. And that way you can make it fit like a puzzle. And I used the same gray cardstock for this um, just because it was out and it looked like it would work. I cut out the scallop piece um, in yellow and I'm just going to layer that up like I did the other card, but this I'm using the foam adhesive. I colored images from the stamp set. I'm, I'm just going to place them on top of the buildings. I love how the stamp set goes together with these dies. And it was really fun because I got to go through my mama elephant stash and kind of choose um, stamps that I haven't used in a while. And I really love the set. I use this set quite a bit. Um, it's an older set, but I don't know, for some reason, I just keep coming back to it. And I really love how the sentiments are on this set too. So I thought this card was finished and I thought there was that big 
kind of empty space in the middle so I'm going to deal with that in a bit. Um, I like the little accessory stamps here so I'm stamping out stars and there's a cluster of stars as well and I'm going to stamp that out just so I could fill some of that night sky and I did remember that I used Versafine to stamp out the Your, my favorite superhero. So I can't use Copic markers to color that in. So since I use Versafine, I'm using Zigs to color it in so it doesn't smear. Um, so I thought it would be fun to just add some color to that sentiment. And um, it was just easy to just color that in. I believe this is Bumblebee from Arteza. I'm taking my red Copic marker and then I'm coloring in the stars. I stamp those using Copic Friendly ink. Um, I believe I'm using R29 for that. So that empty space bothered me so I did go ahead and color another image and put it in the middle and that finishes off this superhero card. Okay, here is the second die that we're going to take a look at today. This is Slim Window Dressing Creative Cuts, and it is sized to do the fun slimline cards. I did pre-cut these pieces so you can see what we are going to be working with. Here are the pieces that come in the set. There is a mini scallop with stitch detailing, um, a smaller rectangle piece that's plain, and there's three different windows um, that you can layer on top of each other to create like a customized window look. So you can use one, two, or all three, and in different colors to customize with your card. The set also comes with grass, and it comes with this fun little layering die where it has the flower and flower box, and there's a separate flower box that you can can cut out in a different color and you can also cut the flowers individually in different colors and layering it on top so that green piece that you see there is kind of the base piece and then you'll have different other pieces to layer on top of it um, the set also comes with these cute little butterflies as well for the first card I thought I would do a little Christmas in July I love these images from Cool Penguins. And that is one die that I didn't show you, that square piece. Um, I'm using the square piece to cut out the images, and then I'm going to be layering the drapes on top. I'm just going to be using those two pieces. Um, and for the middle piece, since it has the sentiment, I'm going to use that um, window piece but I'm going to cut out the middle so I can see my sentiment free and clear. I did also cut the little window box itself um, and layer it on top of the drape piece. It looked a little plain so I added that little um, window paneling in the end. I didn't want to use the flower part because I didn't want to cover my images. So I'm just putting these together. I just adore this stamp set. It's like one of my top, top favorites, um, favorite Mama Elephant stamp sets. I'm going to adhere my little windows on the rectangular piece. I've cut out that rectangular piece in white. I'm just putting my three window panels on. I'm gonna take that whole thing and adhere it to the largest mini scallop piece. And then after that, I'm just going to add a little bit of sparkle with these snowflake sequin confetti. I believe these are from Pretty Pink Posh. Um, it just adds like the right amount of sparkle and it's super simple and I just loved the look of it. So there's a look at that card. For the next card, I really wanted to use that adorable flower window box. So I've cut out the base piece in a light gray color. For some reason, I didn't want to use green. I don't know why. Um, this card ended up being like a crazy color scheme, but I ended up liking it. So the flower box, um, I cut out in a light pink and the florals in a darker pink. And that's how I layered that together. So that square piece is kind of a vanilla color and the drapes are a light pink. And then on top of that, I'm using the window frame in white. And on top of that, I'm gonna put my flower box and look how cute this is. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, this card came out crazy colors. I'm not sure what happened here, um, but it's crazy colors. So I'm using kind of like a peach and craft, and then I wanted to demonstrate the grass, so I cut out grass too, and then I have my crazy pink windows on top of the orange, so it's super, super crazy, but it ended up looking really spring, so I wasn't mad at it at all. So I have the Zodiac rabbits, and then I just adhering them on either side of the windows. So I spaced on <laughs> the sentiment. So I decided I'm going to use inside birthday messages because I love that stamp set. Um, so I'm making a shaped card and I love finishing my slim line cards this way. So you cut out another panel, the same panel size panel that you use for your card front. And I'm just stamping out my inside image right now real quick. This is the inside birthday messages. I love these. I love the font. I love the messaging. It's so pretty. So I'm stamping that out and then I'm making sure my ink is dry because I always, I've been smearing you guys. It's crazy. Um, just smears everywhere. Um, so just make sure it's dry or just make sure you don't touch it. And then I will do a score line. So you can see I've taken that panel that I cut out with the inside birthday message and then you know it fits perfectly obviously because you use the same die to cut it out and so after I've scored it I'm just kind of testing it out because I don't think I've done this before with a slim line so now I'm folding and scoring and kind of burnishing the top so it's easy to kind of open the card because um, you've worked the score line and crease and so now I'm going to put adhesive um, with my tape runner and then I'm going to mount my card panel on top and then it opens so nice and the part that's nice is if you use a colored card base um, when you open it the top is colored and um, you know the part where you write is um, white but it looks so nice um, and I like finishing the slimline cards this way because it reduces bulk. Normally I would put this on a whole, um, card base, um, and it's super thick, but this is just like, I don't know. I just like the layering of this and the way it looks when it opens up. I was just geeking out on that closure. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just, I really liked how it looked. I'm finishing off the card using the butterflies from the creative cut set so it's just like a fun little embellishment that you can use and that's what the card ended up looking like i was really worried about the color combination on this one but i ended up loving it i am not sure why i am so attracted to the peach and craft color combo i love it okay y'all let's switch gears we're going into the mega flipper <laughs> Um, interactive die. This is so fun and it is so cute in person. Here is a look at the Mega Flipper in action. It takes up a large portion of an A2 size card. There's a lot of real estate. It's so cute. I love it. Um, it's a very smooth and it is super easy to put together. If you have the regular size flipper from Mama Elephant, it's put together the same way. Here is the base piece that comes with the set. You can see that there's two tabs and then there's also perforations and those will help guide you um, when you're making your mechanism. Next, we have the panel pieces. I've cut it out four times in different cardstock colors. And then it also comes with um, a die that cuts out slots and those slots you can put whatever you want in there. You can put a note, I don't know, money as a gift, um, a picture. The die also comes with extra pieces to put in sentiments, little banners. It comes with a little arrow that you put at the end of your mechanism so the recipient knows um, to pull it. I like how it finishes off that piece too. It looks really nice. It also comes with this hello die and I love it. I would totally buy this just for that hello die. It's okay, we'll go ahead and put this together. So I'm kind of just folding in my pieces um, and you can see the two tabs wrap around that piece after you fold it 
And those two tabs are the only thing that you'll adhere to the card base. You'll see that there's perforations there and you adhere your panel to the right um, side of the perforation. So you'll need four different panels. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my arrow to the end. Um, and I love the way that looks. So again, there's the perforation. I'm gonna put some adhesive and adhere the panel to the right side of the perforation. This um, goes by so fast, it's super easy. Um, I think once you've made one, you're good. Um, so I like all of these. I chose these colors because I'm using images that I had colored previously. Um, I'm using the boba tea set for this. So I'm going to adhere this to the, the front so you can see the glue only goes on those tabs. And then there you go. I'm testing it out. Um, no issues. And so I colored like <laughs> a ton of these boba tea images because I loved it. And I happened to have four that were matching in pink. And so that's what I'm going to adhere on each of my panels. I love these images. Um, and I don't want them to show on the next card. So I'm kind of placing it so um, you don't see it um, when the mechanism is closed. Because um, I want all the images to be a surprise. Um, so this was so fun. It came out together fast because I had already, these images were already ready to go. So I'm going to put my sentiment um, at the end there. Um, I'm going to use the hello die. And then I'm going to first stamp out a sentiment from the stamp set. Um, I busted out my Xyron sticker maker. I only bust that out on special occasions. <laughs> um, I didn't want the hello to hang or get stuck. So that's why I used my Xyron sticker maker. Okay, so here is a look at that card. So super easy. I love using different colored panels too. Um, I just like the presentation of it and that's what it looks like opened up. Loved it, that card went by so fast. And we have our fourth and final die for this release. This is Stacked Circles. I hope you guys are sticking in there with me. I just wanna make sure you guys have a good look at all of the dies. So this die has two big scallops that it cuts out. I'm going to use those scallops to make my card today. Also, it comes with circles and the circles cuts out a plain circle, but the negative piece has the stitched um, edging around it and it looks really nice on a card. Here's the piece where I cut out the circle and where I'm pointing is where the stitching occurs. So I have puffy holiday greetings and I've cut out that scallop circular piece using the smaller of the scallop dies. And I'm just going to stamp out my sentiment in the Mama Elephant Red Apple ink, the holiday hugs from many miles away. I love this stamp set. Um, I just love it. I use it every Christmas. I've cut out the largest scallop. Um, twice, one in red and one in white. And I'm doing that thing where I'm scoring it and then I'm going to make a shaped card. Um, I'm kind of addicted to doing this. I'm not sure why I'm just now discovering this. Um, so I'm putting adhesive and then I'm going to put my red card stock. Um, I didn't push down, I, I don't think. So I put more adhesive and then I pushed it down. <laughs> and so now it works. Um, so I'm just making sure everything is good and everything works and it does. Um, I'm taking that panel that we stamped the sentiment on and then I'm going to put a foam adhesive in the back. And that's how it will mount it on the scalloped card base. I just love red for the holidays. I'm trying to gear up for um, holiday cards because that is coming fast and quick. So I'm just layering that on top of the card base. And then I have these images left over from the first card we made and I just love them. So I'm glad that I was able to use them. Um, I'm also adding as a finishing touch the um, 
confetti snowflakes and I'm just like gluing them down. I'm using uh, Marvi Ushida, um, the, I forget what it's called, um, jewel picker. And that works out well. Sometimes you have to um, help it along, but it works great. And that is a look at the card. Okay, and that's it. Six cards, four creative cut sets. I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure to stop by the Mom Elephant blog. The stampede is today um, to hop along and see all of the other designers' cards. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an awesome day. Stay safe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.